In this video, I'm going to explain how to allocate planned budgets during campaign setup in DV360. Agenda of this video. Firstly, I will show you campaign IO and LA settings and how it affects on budget allocation. Secondly, we shall take a real time event as an example to understand budget control and compare with platform hierarchy. Then I will explain this concept by taking various example. In example 1, budget allocation between 3 media types. In example 2, budget allocation for one media type with multiple creatives. And example 3, budget allocation with two media types. Finally, I will explain budget type in DV360, currency and impression budget type. Effect of campaign, IVO and line item level settings on budget. The platform hierarchy is shown in this slide. Budgets can be allocated at three levels, campaign, IVO and line item levels. It can, however, only be controlled at IVO and line item levels. The campaign level settings in platform dashboard is shown in this slide. And it makes clear that these settings as shown in this picture like KPI, goal, budget, flight dates, etc. have no effect on serving at any level of the entire hierarchy. So the total campaign budget given here has no impact on serving and is optional one. The budget value entered here is just utilized for tracking purpose only. If not at campaign level, where does the budget depends on? first is at IO level, while the second is at the line item level. It is mentioned here that budget and pacing are dependent on both IO and line item level settings. Budget pacing topic will be covered in future videos, but for now let's focus on budget flow in DV360. Let's take an example of budget control for an event and let's compare it with DV360 hierarchy. Let's assume that you are organizing an event in which there are many departments that work and make the event successful. The event budget is split between various departments. Let's assume top levels are there to hold the below ones and actual budget control is at the middle of the hierarchy. In this example, let's assume you are at level 3 and received amount from above levels. Now you are at the parent level in the hierarchy and have a control of how much to distribute to child objects under you. Budget for the event is distributed to various departments like food, decorations, rental, programs, publicity, etc. And you let each department take care of and manage their staff. And finally, make the event successful. Similarly, in DV360 hierarchy, at the top levels, it helps to look at various access, permission, linking and other features and so on. Only IO and line item level takes control of the actual budget in DV360. Let's take an example one. Let's assume following information with a mix of media types to construct a campaign in DV360. Display, video and YouTube are the media types in which you want to spend the budget. The campaign total budget is $10,000. According to the media plan, the entire budget should be divided as follows. $3,000 for display, $3,500 for video and $3,500 for audio. For this example, let's consider the first scenario. As per the media plan budget details, we shall create a separate campaign for each media type. Under each advertiser, we can create three campaigns with budgets allocated to each media type. Under respect to campaign level, we can create new IO and same budget flows to it from campaign level. Under respect to IO, we shall create a single line item and the budget for these line items flows from their respective IOs. Remember, different media types cannot be added under a single line item. For example, Display and video creatives cannot be added to a single line item. So we have to create separate line item for each media type and plan the structure of the campaign setup accordingly. Here we have given a daily budget for each line. To calculate daily budget, total budget divided by total campaign flight days. 
Daily budget for each line item is as shown in the figure. Finally, creatives are assigned to the respective lines. In this scenario, campaign 1 is for display, campaign 2 is for video, and campaign 3 for audio, and hierarchy objects follows for the campaign. This is how we can plan a campaign structure before we proceed with campaign setup in DV360. Please keep in mind that this is an example to help you understand budgeting and hierarchy. This will vary in real time depending on the process and also the campaign manager who manages the campaign. If you are working on this platform for the first time, please take confirmation from your senior colleague or learn the optimal way to use it. With this campaign setup structure, you can track the delivery of all three campaigns under this advertiser while also monitoring the pacing of IOS under it. Let's assume the selected advertiser shown in this image is the one we created. Once the campaign goes live, once the campaign goes live, budget chart shows the delivery and beside chart shows the pacing status of IOS. We will discuss this in detail in future videos. Consider another scenario in which you may create all media types in DV360 under a single campaign, which I believe is one of the finest ways to construct the setup according to our reference media plan. In this second scenario, create a single campaign and then proceed with the rest of the setup as in the first scenario. With this campaign setup structure, you can track the delivery of all three IOs under respective campaigns while also monitoring the campaign's overall performance. This slide shows combined view of IOs and line items under single campaign. You can monitor delivery and performance of each IO here. If one line item under respective IO doesn't spend, it has no effect on other line items under the same campaign. For example, in our case, if the display is unable to spend, just the displayed IO is impacted and the remaining two media types, video and audio IOs, and their line items are unaffected. Consider the third scenario, where all media types are under a single IO. Create a single campaign, create a single IO, and then complete rest of the setup as in the previous scenario. In this case, you can monitor the total performance of three lines while tracking the whole delivery of all three line items under a single IO. As per our sample plan, strictly provide the appropriate budget for each line item type. Display 3000, video 3500 and audio 3500 at the line item level. Creatives then assign to these line items and serve as per the line item targeting. Let's look at another example and see how we would create a campaign based on the given media plan. In this plan, the only media type is display. It is planned to run with different creative sizes, with different creative messages to run in rotation. And the flight duration is 10 days. Now what you can do is, pause this video for one minute before going to the next slide. Meanwhile, please draw a basic outline of campaign structure in the previous example on a piece of paper. This allows you to practice and learn. I hope you got a sample campaign structure ready. Now we shall go through the first scenario in this example. Since this campaign is all about display, I am planning to run everything under single IO. We shall create a single campaign, single IO and three line items which represents creative sizes and assign respective creatives. With this structure, we can make sure that the planned budget for respective creative sizes can be allocated strictly. In this example, let's look at the second case. Instead of creating a separate line for each creative size, we will create a single line item for all three creatives and assign to this line item. As per the planned budget of example 2, 300 cross 250 creative should get 3000 and follows others with their respective planned budgets. With creative rotation, each creative may spend according to their performance and receive more or less budget, originally planned one, from overall budget of 10k. For example, medium rectangle may receive 5000, while the other could receive 2500 and 2500 respectively. You can use this scenario if you get approval for creative rotation based on performance 
even though the budget allotment for creative sizes fluctuates this campaign structure may be used for any campaign that requires budget distribution based on the highest performing creative but what if our client strictly wants each creative size to spend as per the planned one in this case then you can create a separate line take a look at example 3 in this case we will need to create a campaign for two separate display creatives and one for video creative each one has its own budget the flight will last the same 10 days how should we proceed with the setup pause this video for 1 minute and draw a sample structure for the given details i hope you prepared with a sample campaign structure create a single campaign single ivo under this ivo create three line items and allocate their own budget for each line and assign creatives due to the fact that same media type creative is placed under single line item let's add two display creative under the display line item and select creative rotation and video line item is assigned with video creative for display lines due to the optimized rotation of creatives one creative size may receive more budget while the another receives less if you want each creative to spend exactly as planned create them as independent line please keep in mind that examples shown in this video are only for knowledge purpose and could be beneficial to beginners to understand the topic if you are working on this platform for first time please take help of your senior colleague and proceed with the setup budget type at ivo level in dv360 budget type can be set at ivo level and this can be added as a value you can set two types of budgets one is currency budget type another one impression budget type consider the following example if you have 100 dollars and price of each apple is 5 dollars the total number of apples you will buy is 100 by 5 is 20 apples the total number of apples you will buy is 20 if you spend 100 dollars then receive number of apples then the budget type will be currency budget if you wish to buy 20 apples having 5 dollars for each apple then you will spend the final amount of 100 dollars in this case you are dealing with quantity similarly if your campaign budget is 100 dollars and your cpm is 5 dollars total number of impression you will receive is 2000 impressions when you choose budget type for a given rate you wish to spend 100 dollars then you receive a number of impressions then it is currency budget if you wish to get 2000 impressions then you need to pay 100 dollars this is impression budget this slide shows the budget type you set at ivo level currency budget and impression budget